Dr. Chanchal Deep Kaur with another interesting and learning episode of B Pharmacy on the important unit of Central Sterile Supply Unit and their management, which is very important unit of the section of Clinical and Hospital Pharmacy of B Pharm 7 semester. Let's start our episode while taking a look at what we are going to learn today. Module 1 is Introduction. Module 2 Types of Materials for Sterilization. Module 3 is Conclusion. So, so we will start with Module 1 Introduction. Let's start with General Introduction about Central Sterile Supply Unit and their Management. The Central Sterile Supply Department which is also known as CSSD also called Sterile Processing Department that is SPD Sterile Processing Central Supply Department CSD or Central Supply is an integrated place in hospitals and other healthcare facilities that performs sterilization and other actions on medical devices equipment and consumables for subsequent use by health workers in the operating theatre of the hospital and also for other aseptic procedures example catheterization, wound stitching and bandaging in a medical, surgical, maternity or pediatric ward. Thus the central sterile supply department as a specialized center offers its services and provides sterilization of medical supplies for private subjects. The objective of establishing a central sterile supply department is to make reliably sterilized articles available at the required time and place for any agreed purpose in the hospital as economically as possible having regard to the need to conserve the time of users. We will discuss few definitions. The CSSD is a service catering to the needs of a hospital or a group of hospitals for the supply of sterilized articles to all the departments including the wards, OPDs, other special units and the operation theatre. If there is no theatre, sterile supply unit. The aim and scope is diet, drugs, linen, bedding, bedpan, urinals, are not included in the scope of CSSD. The hospitals are suggested to buy from manufacturers only those sterile disposables which they cannot process satisfactorily such as sutures etc. The CSSD is to provide an efficient, economic, continuous and quality supply of sterilized material to various areas of the hospital to deliver quality and infection free patient care. The main objectives of the Central Sterile Supply Department are discussed here. To provide all the departments with an adequate supply of reliably sterilized material for immediate and emergency use. The sterilization process is conducted under controlled conditions at minimum cost to reduce the incidence of hospital associated infections. Here minimum cost is the important parameter. To supervise and provide facilities for the bulk sterilization of the materials. To pool in the equipment resource of the hospital for economical and effective utilization under adequate managerial and technical supervision. To provide facilities for in-service teaching and training of nursing and ancillary personnel in the sterilization practices. To undertake operation research techniques for improving sterilization practices and to participate in research pertaining to supply of equipment. To provide the most suitable material for the patient care. To play an effective role in hospital infection control activities. To ensure quality control for infection free patient care. To take some of the work of the nursing staff so that they can devote more time to their patients. To avoid duplication of costly equipments which may be infrequently used. To maintain record of effectiveness of cleaning, 
disinfection and sterilization process to monitor and enforce controls necessary to prevent cross infection according to infection control policy to maintain an inventory of supplies and equipment to stay updated regarding developments in the field in the interest of efficiency economy accuracy and provision of better patient care this is very important to provide a safe environment for the patients and staff the cssd also aims at assuming total responsibility for processing hospital items thereby assuring that all of them receive the same degree of cleaning and sterilization it also contributes to the educational program within the hospital relating to infection control and develops a cost effective program by cost analysis of personal supplies and equipment central sterile supply department cssd is the most essential feature of the hospital it aims at centralizing the activities of receipt cleaning assembly sterilization storage and distribution of sterilized materials from a central department where bacteriologically safe sterilization is done under controlled conditions with adequate managerial and technical supervision at an optimum cost it contributes to reduction in hospital infection rate the figure 1 shows important steps performed in central sterile supply unit of hospital the steps are decontamination assembly and sterile processing sterile storage and distribution these are the important steps to be performed in central sterile supply unit of hospital decontamination the surgical instruments and other medical devices have to be decontaminated before use in the hospitals the special decontamination equipments like automatic washers are maintained and operated by the specialists in the hospitals after completion of the decontamination process the decontaminated items are checked and inspected inspecting to make sure they are clean then the clean items are organized and packaged them into appropriate instrument trays and sets after drying the devices are wrapped in a specialized paper bag called as aseptor bag tape sealed assembly and sterile processing the assembled trays of instruments are then sterilized the special sterilization equipment like autoclaves are then operated and monitored carefully the records have to be maintained related to all the details of the items that are cleaned sterilized and stored next is sterile storage the sterilized items are carefully stored and stored the seal of the package should not be damaged it is ensured that sterile supplies don't become outdated the expiry date should be written on the wrapped and sterilized items next is distribution stocking crash carts organizing sterilized medical supplies the sterile supplies are distributed where they are needed the dirty ones and picked up organizational structure central sterile supply department should be under technical supervision of a responsible officer who is concerned with the day management of the unit the central sterile supply department manager will liaise with the infection control team OT manager and clinical departments the CSSD manager is administratively responsible to the head of the health care facility the services offered are the functional flow of activities in CSSD may be generally specified as follows first is rinsing rinsing of articles after use 
should not be permitted in patient care areas unless carried out by a trained member of the staff. Second is cleaning. All reusable medical devices should be thoroughly cleaned prior to disinfection or sterilization. Third is drying. All articles should be dried appropriately. Fourth, inspection and assembly. Each item should be inspected for functionality, defects, breakage and then appropriately assembled. Fifth is packing. Articles should preferably be packed in porous material. Sixth, labeling. Each pack should be marked with nomenclature of the article, contents of the pack, initials of the person who packed it, date and initials of the person who carried out the sterilization. Labeling is very important part. Next comes 7 point sterilization. The operation of the sterilizer should be entrusted to a responsible and fully trained person. It should be kept in a state of good maintenance and repair. 8th is storage should be properly managed separately for sterile and non-sterile stores. For sterile goods, clean room conditions should be followed. Ninth is the distribution. It refers to clean and dirty articles exchange system. A program should be established for the collection of used items from patient care areas and distribution of sterilized goods. Now we will see the location. The CSSD should be close to the casualty, operation theater and wards which are the largest consumer of the sterilized material. In multi-story buildings, CSSD may be planned in the lower floor right under the operation theater where vertical movement will be the quickest possible movement of the material. Further we will see the layout. The CSSD should have four zones for a smooth workflow. The following facilities should be provided in the layout. First, entrance lobby. Second, reception and cleaning room. Third, glove room. Fourth, work room. That is preparation and assembling of packs. Fifth, syringe room. Sixth, sterilization room. Seventh, store room. Eighth, nurses room. 9th staff changing room and 10th is clock room for keep, keeping the things. The functions and activities are discussed here. Receipt. This includes receiving the materials, supplies and equipment, dressings and other specialized surgical items for processing. Next is cleaning. This function means cleaning of the used equipments, materials, rubber and plastic goods either manually or by machines. Example, ultrasonic cleaner, jet glove, washing machines, washer disinfectors, anesthetic tubing washers and dryers. This function may also include cleaning of the delivery trolleys. Next is the checking, assembling and packaging. It includes checking of glass items for breakages needles and instruments for sharpness and breakages, assembling of the equipment after washing and drying, making sets and packaging for sterilization. Sterilization. It renders materials bacteriologically safe for quality patient care. Next is labeling. Easy identification for prompt and proper use. Storage. The function includes storage of sterilized packs, drums and disposables, dressing materials, spare parts of machines or sterilizers for routine maintenance and broken or unserviceable items for condemnation. Paper is fast replacing linen wrappers. Space should also be provided for storing distribution trolleys. Sterile store maintains Now we will be seeing module 2 which is types of materials for sterilization. Surgical dressings, sheets, surgical and diagnostic equipment, containers, closures, aqueous injections, 
ophthalmic preparations and irrigation fluids they are sterilized by moist heat sterilization thermostable moisture sensitive or moisture impermeable pharmaceutical and medicinal like dry powder drugs suspension of drug in or non aqueous solvents oils fats waxes soft hard paraffin silicon oily injections implants ophthalmic ointments and ointment bases etc are sterilized by dry heat sterilization thermolabile substances like hormones proteins various heat sensitive drugs etc are sterilized by gaseous sterilization method sanitation of garments or utensils by uv light antibiotic hormones sutures plastics and catheters etc by gamma rays especially from cobalt 60 heat sensitive injections and ophthalmic solutions biological products air and other gases for supply to aseptic areas are sterilized by filtration sterilizations module 6 which is the conclusion with all these information here we come to end of today's lecture hope we have understood the details related to facilities of central sterile supply unit in the hospitals further have a look again on the complete topic yourself so that you are thorough with it the topic that we have discussed today is very simple and good it could be well remembered by correlating with the nearby hospitals that we see regularly in our routine life so dear students this is dr sanjal taking leave from you with the hope that you enjoyed and understood today's lecture we will continue in our next lecture with the topic manufacture of sterile and non sterile products if you want to learn more and enhance your knowledge you may log on to our website for mcq quizzes lors www.cec.nic.in till then keep studying goodbye